everybody, it's, what is the day today? It's Tuesday the 20... We go Peppa Pig World! <laughs> Tuesday the 26th of October and we are on our way to Peppa Pig World! So excited, we stayed at hotel last night um, just to save on travel time this morning. We've had a big breakfast and we are now en route. The hotel that we stayed at was only about... Oh, we have lunch there. We will be eating there, yeah, we're there all day. Uh, yeah, so the hotel that we stayed at is only about 20 minutes away from Peppa Pig World. So, not too far to go this morning. Um, and I can't wait to go Harry Potter World. Harry Potter World is going to be on another trip, that's not today. Um, yeah, so we have... This is our second time going to uh, Portland's Park. We've not been there since they've got the new uh, new section, so we're going to see what that is like today. Um, but the reason that we like I'm to go... I'm to go on all the ride demos. <laughs> so it was about two, three years ago that we last I'm went. I'm a seven-year-old. <gasps> we're here! Right. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> okay. There's a whole week in there. Drive up. So exciting. Oh, Tornado Springs, that's what the new bit is called. <laughs> yeah, so obviously it is half term, so we're not sure how busy it's going to be. On the website, it said that they are still doing um, limited capacity, so hopefully they're still not at full capacity because of the. Because of the. Um, thank you. It's for all ages, but um, yeah, so because of the COVID restrictions, hopefully it is still. Uh, limited tickets so there's not going to be as long a queues for the rides um, but yeah the reason that we choose to come in the Halloween week is because there's two days uh, for this week it's the Tuesday and the Thursday where the park is open till 7 30 so as far as I'm aware it's the only two days of the whole year that the park is open this late but it's the same price for your ticket so today we've got a family ticket for four. Um, Arabella, as she is still a baby, um, it doesn't qualify for a chargeable ticket. So um, yeah, so we always get this week just because you get the extra two hours. I think otherwise they're open till 5.30. So um, come 7.30, not only do you get the extra hours, it's dark, so there's a bit of an atmosphere. Um, they normally do the... Um, extra <laughs> activities because it is There's Halloween to celebrate that Mommy, you the and truck. Um, I miss the truck how are we feeling give me one Bunny's word excited. <laughs> give me one word how are you feeling about the pig word today excited. Arabella <laughs> <laughs> she's shy <laughs> so before we go in just want to show you that the Portland's um, park have an app which is really handy, um, tells you the opening hours for your day. So obviously today I've got the extended hours for Halloween. Um, it tells you queue times as well. So, so far it's looking pretty good. And there's a new place. Um, <laughs> there is a new place there. Time is, it's almost 11 o'clock, so it's been open for an hour already. Um, you can plan your trip on there. You've got your tickets on there as well. So that's the ticket that we got for today. Family of four. But yeah, so it's worth getting the app in advance and of course it's a map as well. So just to show you, I've mentioned this in another video, but it's multi-purpose. What, what, what? <laughs> My coat hanger that come with a pair of jeans from Sainsbury's. Also, so handy to have in the bag, it doubles up as a hook for your umbrella as well. So yeah, upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. Let's go, let's have it at Peppa Pig World. Aurora, can I get an eye, yeah? Hiya! <laughs> Aurora, would you like to introduce where we are? Peppa Pig World. Also known as Portland's Park. Oh, Here we Portland. go. Oh, oh not Port, yeah. <laughs> okay, Portland's Park. I stand corrected. Thank you, husband. We've got some pumpkins, kind of Halloween -y display happening. Right, we've just entered. We use the um, app got our pass, they just scanned it with the QR code. Talking. Have a seat. Hey. Everybody got the mat? As 
as you walk around the park, you can see there's a strong Halloween pumpkin vibe. How are you doing <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you're tall enough. Otherwise, you're going to have a very disappointed Jemima. I like the fact they've got these viewing platforms. You can look down and see your kids on the rides. Auto Academy Driving School. But this one, 80 centimeters and over. Okay, so good news. <laughs> um, Arabella's over the 80 centimeters. Uh, to give you an idea, she's uh, 20 months old, so. <laughs> Love the fact that when you're walking around, there's so much to look at. Keep you entertained. Arabella's been using these sponge bars. Hubby's not going on this one because he's too tall. Um, he's just over six foot, but yeah, so the only one tall enough for this is Aurora. So on we go. Quite a handy position for this one because it means that the uh, there's a play area for under sixes here, and then you've got another play area for over sixes there as well. And apparently it's not just for under six year olds. That was so much scarier than we thought, Aurora. <laughs> Aurora actually went quiet and I was worried that she had passed out. A lot more punch than what you'd expect it to and I'm definitely glad that Jemima didn't go on that because she would have absolutely freaked out. But yeah, very good, very scary. So this is us inside the park where Billy wants to be in for about 15 minutes while we keep that ride. Good selection of stuff here. And it's right by toilets as well, so it's quite handy just for a little toilet stop as well. What's that croissant? Is that nice? Good. So Ants has taken the two older girls to go on one of the bigger rides, so we're tag teaming, so my turn to watch Arabella. So we've just come into this little wooden hut, which is still inside the little toddler area. Um, I've got the map out, so we're just planning what to do next and just showing you what I normally do at the hotel, where it includes breakfast. I normally just bring a few containers from home in a plastic bag and then we normally just make some sandwiches up, so um, bacon, sausage sandwiches in there, muffins, got some fruit as well and then it just saves when we are here um, and if there's going to be big queues for the food it just means we don't have to um, pay out here and also have to queue up. We've got food ready we can just eat it in the queues or when convenient and she's off with croissant. 
sit. You're saying sit, just to clarify. <laughs> You're saying sit. You want me to sit in there with you? We to sit in there. Oh, so um, Anthony has gone on with the girls. To this one, which is called Storm Chaser. This one, um, and for this particular one, one meter and four years. So both the older girls can go on this one. Aurora can actually go in it by herself because she's 1.4 meters, or she's above that, and she's eight years old. So they're going on there, and I think they'll enjoy it. Daddy's on the ride, darling. Seem to be. And um, that queue is a bit longer. I think it's about 20 minutes on that one, so. Okay, so they are on it right now. Quick look at the area. This is for the over sixes. So as you can see, it's a bit more entertaining for the older ones. <laughs> this is called Junkyard Junction. Six or 12 years old. There we go. Got these markers out for social distancing. We're going on this one now. 90 centimetres, that Arabella is a little bit too small. So we're now in the Peppa Pig section of Portons Park. <laughs> Middle of the day now, so 1.30, and it's actually still quite quiet. I think the most we've queued has been about 15, 20 minutes. Hands washed, just spots. You know, hands are washed, we're just sitting down for a spot of lunch now. It's nice that we've got these undercovered areas. Okay, so we are in the girls' well, favourite one I think for the pig so far, for the pig world section that is anyway. And this one, we really high up so you can look around and see the other rides in the pig land section. <laughs> On your bottom, please. And I think next we're going to go on the water one down there as well. Aurora is on a death wish. Aurora, right, sit down. Sit down, because otherwise Arabella will copy you. Sit down, quickly. Oh, quickly. Right, see if you can see any animals over the, over the back there. No, can we do that first? Okay. So 
that was Grumpy Pig Sailing Club. It was very good, but you can only afford to a boat, so it does mean that hubby had to give this one a miss, and it meant that me and the three children could go on it. So I've had lunch, and we thought it would be a good idea just to do a bit of walking stuff. That's why we're doing the animals now. This area is really good with buggies. Um, the idea is we're just going to keep Arabella strapped in now till she falls asleep. <laughs> oh, well, we need to get that back in one of the uh, uh, cages, really, don't we? Because that's, that's a bit big. The birds, yes. Okay, we need to look at the birds, and the girls have just pointed out. Um, but yeah, wheel the buggies around in here very easily, and it's right next to Peppa Pig. Well, this bit, so it's ideal. No, there's no sharks in there, hun. Got a wide selection of birds, though. Oh, can you hear them talking? So all the animals in here are nocturnal. Really bright now, doesn't it? Now we've left the uh, nocturnal house. What was your favourite one then? Was that your favourite? Yeah, the hedgehog was good. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Um. Um. Daisy. Daisy. Daisy the hedgehog. No. Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Rose, okay. Rosie. Oh my god, Rosie, I hold my dog's bar. Arabella! There she is. Look where we're going to go. Oh, oh. That's I'll read your map. Oh, they're friendly, aren't they? Oh, oh he's trying to tell us what ride to do next. What do you recommend, Penguin? He's coming. Okay. No, he's not actually as close as he thinks. I did not. No, I did not eat my vegetable. Oh, God. No, no. I spot him in his lip. the animals that they've got here. Another section here, tortoise, harps and birds as well. Okay, on the pirate ship now, this is one of Aurora's favourites. She normally always wants to sit at the back and it looks like the second row in, so it's not bad. Of course they found a duck. Good to see the stage right this year as well with the Halloween show. Oh, 
hi guys. Whoa. Critter Creek sign. Stay tuned. Oh. I think it's a good choice, Aurora. To... There we go. Nope, she's going again. I'll go. for the container but if you get a refill in it it's two pounds fifty so obviously it's the equivalent of getting a bowl get on free so then it's uh, the better option as I'm sure we'll get a refill no sugar as well just notice that but we've now entered the lost kingdom and this is the last bit that we're doing for the day obviously this splash area is closed for the autumn Arabella's finally asleep uh, and it's just gone five o'clock, so we've got two and a half hours. But two of the rides have shut. Um, they're not open till it closes at 7.30 due to visibility. So that is the, uh, I can't think what it's called. It's in the new area. It's the one, the yellow boaty one. In fact, it's the water rides basically. Um, and also the train that goes around the whole park. That's shut because of visibility. Um, otherwise, all the other rides are open till 7.30. <laughs>
So it's six o'clock, I'm to give you an idea of the queues. Not much queuing happening. Oh, we stayed till the very end. The girls are obviously disappointed that they can't do any more rides, but the way that they do it is if you're already in a queue at 7.30, they will honour that and just shut the ride once the queue's finished. So the rides will probably be going on for a bit later than 7.30. We were on a ride bang on 7.30, so it wasn't flicking to us, and we didn't have time to queue up again. So we're heading back to the car now. Gonna go for a nice bit of dinner. What we can get. And we're going to check in the gift shop to see if there's a token something for Aurora because she wants no, something to remember today by a toy. So wish us luck. <sighs> Started raining as well at the end, but happy that it's not as bad as it could have been. Girls, how was your day? Good. What bits did you get in the gift shop, girls? Uh, this. Yes, this. Cute. We went for um, Portland Park branded pen and a Portons Park branded little notebook key ring, two pounds oh, each. Gosh. So that's it, we're done for the day. Just gonna sit for a little bit longer looking at some red brake lights in front of us whilst we queue to leave. But uh, we had a really good day. Definitely advise, recommend coming at Halloween for the longer hours because it does make such a difference. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna subscribe, then thank you.